One thing I find important is that we put the whole thing uh, on an objective basis because there are so many claims, uh, you know, what climate engineering can do, okay, but most of those claims are not scientifically sound, okay, and so I think it would be good uh, to have a really good scientific assessment of what these climate engineering measures can do and what they can't do and also of what the cost would be because uh, uh, you have to compare those costs of climate engineering uh, to those costs uh, to introduce for instance more renewable energies okay and you have also to think about that uh, climate engineering uh, usually has uh, to be used for many, many decades, maybe for many centuries, okay, and this will of course increase the cost uh, in, in, in the long run. And so I think having these numbers is nice to uh, make decisions.